Hey, MJ. Check it out here. Never mind the mess of me. I've got four broken boiler. I've been doing nothing but hose bowl runs. I've been really, really busy. So I've not been on. So I'd like to first of all say hiya to everybody that takes the time to watch my, my wee videos and learning as I go along. This here is the wee squab for my saddleback and my Wolverhampton tumbler. And I think she's going to be like, here she's going to be like dad, a saddleback, but with the, it's more a kind of, mmm, very, very light, light orangey brown markings. But the wee thing's about two weeks old now, and it's been absolutely brilliant. So I've no cleaned up my loft. Um, I've been doing the old trick, which some of you use, pigeon fellows and women will know. Just coming in straight up there and pushing it up against the against the back of the hut. I'll just move this wee in because they're all jumping up and down there. Um, I've got another two baby squabs. I'm not going to lift them up because we know what they're like. They are three days old. So they're nice and fluffy and yellow. And that's off my black tip and my ready bronze tip. So um, my wee pie, Jenny, is doing an egg again, but this time she's sitting on it so far. So I'm not touching her. I'm not messing about the nest in case me the last time was too much cleaning run about her pulling it out that it maybe put her off, so I'm not touching her this time. They two whitings, they're still in their eggs. Um, everybody's went out. They're, they're going up in the air. That wee eagle, oh my God, he's a different bird altogether, I think. He flies really, really high. Doesn't he fly with the rest of them? Because a wee self and goes mega high and stays up longer. The other ones are all staying local, but they're kind of staying with their pals in the hut. So what I think I'm going to do when I can get the time is get myself a wee basket and maybe take them to the field at the end of my street. And that way, we knock them out the basket myself. They're off, but they've no other option but to fly to the house, which is about one, two, three, about six houses for the field. So there's no danger I'm going to lose them. I know with tumblers, you don't do that. That's the kind of thing you do with racing pigeons. But I know myself, my mistake is I've overfed my birds. I've made them think they're staying in a Hilton and they just want to come out and sit in the hot roof. And if I shake them off the roof, all the days go and sit in somebody else's roof and I don't want that. So that's my plan this time, folks. They're out the new. I'm going to get stuck in here and get the, lo the loft cleaned um, and then get myself a wee basket and hopefully I'll be doing some basket training. Fingers crossed, I'm no low so any. As I said, my house is six houses away from the field so they have seen that field when they're flying about. So fingers crossed. Um, big thank you to you all. And I'll go online to catch up with your videos. I hope you are all doing well. And I'm going to enjoy my time of the day in my heart. <laughs> See you later.